Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a look at the new Nintendo Switch system update. I know it's a pretty weird thing to do, but let's take a look. <laughs> I don't usually do this. Um, but yeah, version 9.2 was the previous version, and yesterday version 10.0.0 came out, which is this one here. Um, so they changed the major version number, so you might expect some major changes, and there are a few major changes. So let's take a look at the most important thing, which is the fact that your icon can be flick now. Heck yeah. They added a whole bunch of icons from uh, New Horizons. You can see you got Tom Nook in his New Horizons outfit. You got Isabel. You got, I think that's Wilbur. <laughs> it's one of the dodos. You've got CJ, you've got flick. Heck yeah, you can be flick now. Amazing. <laughs> okay, that's not the real thing I think is the most important. It's cool, though. Uh, the real thing that I think is super important about this update, if we just back out of there and jump back into here, is they've added a new option in the controllers and sensors section, which is this. Change button mapping. This is amazing. <laughs> Basically, you can go to any controller that's connected to the system. You've got your Joy-Cons, you've got your Pro Controller. You hooked up something else, it would probably show up here too. I haven't tried anything else, because this is what I have. But yeah, you can just go in here, and go Change, and you can map any of the buttons on the controller to do whatever you want, basically. So you can go to L, you can say, I would like that to do nothing, or I would like it to be the B button, or any of the buttons, as you can see. Uh, you can also, you can't map the home button, I think is the only limitation, just because it's the home button, you need to be able to go home. But everything else is free for the taking, and that's really cool. Also, control stick settings here, uh, you can toggle the sticks around, as you can see. Uh, and if you do it with the Joy-Con, uh, there's another option as well. If you go to control stick settings on these ones, you also have change orientation. Uh, it says, an option for software with the Joy-Con is intended to be held horizontally. If this option is enabled, it makes it easy to use the controller vertically. This is really cool. Um, I did complain about this a while ago. Some applications, are like YouTube for example, it would be possible to use it with one hand with one Joy-Con, kind of like a TV remote, except that the analog stick is facing the wrong way. With this feature, you can change it so the analog stick is facing the right way, which is great. Um, so that's amazing. Uh, what I think this is really good for, I mean, it's good for accessibility, it's really good for that. It's also good if your games have controls that maybe aren't ideal and you'd like to change them. Uh, so I have one example of that. I'm gonna map the L button here to the B button, like so. The reason for that is that if we go back into Animal Crossing, which I'm playing right now, Normally the L button in this game does pretty much nothing. Uh, you can use it to page through certain things, like um, if I bring up the uh, DIY recipes, I think. Yeah, you can page through the categories with the L, L and R buttons, but you can also use ZL and ZR, so you don't really need L for that. Uh, normally out in the field, L does nothing. Since I've mapped L to B though, I can now run by holding the L button, which before could not happen because it was mapped to doing nothing. Uh, which means I can run around with one hand holding the left side of the controller and my other hand is free to cuddle or whatever. <laughs> Pretty great. Uh, so yeah, uh, you've got button mapping features built into the console and I've been complaining that not enough games have button mapping. Well now every game has button mapping because it's just part of the system. And I think that's pretty phenomenal honestly. Like as an accessibility feature, it's, it's amazing. Uh, if we jump back into the settings here and just take another quick look. And you can also save presets as you can see, so I could say... Oh, I see, cool. So I'm just hit preset 1, there we go, and then you can load up whichever set of configurations you want, and... Yeah, so you can have configs for different games and stuff like that. Oh gosh, I'm just really excited about this feature. I think it's just an incredible boon for accessibility, and also for fixing controls in games that have bad controls. Um, another Animal Crossing example, I'm gonna map the R, uh, the R button here to ZR, and I'm going to map the L button here to ZL. 
Uh, the reason for that is that left and right toggle you through tools uh, in the order they are in your pockets. But the tool ring, which you get with up, is much easier to use. Uh, and that's freed up ZL and ZR. So I can make that, for example, the A button over there. And maybe the Y button over there. And now if I go back into the game, cancel. Done. <laughs> there we go. If I go back into the game now, I can run around and interact with things using just my left hand because I have an A button uh, as well. So if I find someone to talk to, for example, there we go. So yeah, I'm just holding it with my left hand and I can use ZL and L to run and to talk. What is up, cutie? So yeah, it's just great. You can just ring up controls and it's just super great. And it works in every game, of course. Um, games don't show different things. Oh, Flick is here. <gasps> Flick is here. <gasps> Where did they go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I love you, Flick. Oh my gosh, Flick is here. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Anyway, um, yeah, it won't show different things on screen. You can see it still says that up, L up in the corner there. When actually it's, it's left on the D-pad now because I changed it. Um... And that's to be expected because games weren't designed with the expectation that you would remap all the controls. Uh, but you can remap all the controls and I'm super excited about that fact. And yeah, press right to get those now. And I press R, that'll pick things up off the ground. Set R, sorry. And yeah, it's just, it's just really cool. And I'm so glad this is a feature and I'm really happy about it. Oh my goodness. Um, I hadn't tried the preset feature yet. I am a little underwhelmed by that. Uh, I thought it would give me like named presets, so I'd make one called Animal Crossing, and then I'd have unlimited presets rather than numbered slots, but it should be alright. I think it's okay the way it is. It should work for most situations. Um, maybe in a another update they might change it around, so instead of having preset slots, you have presets built into... Where's the money? Presets, presets built into the system that have names and you can have lots of them. Um, but yeah, the basic idea is very, very cool. Uh, go back to home. And yeah, it's just, it's just so good. And I'm so excited. And yeah, it works through the whole system, so I'm still using ZL as the A button right now. And that works fine. Um, and yeah, it shows a little, little, like, wrench icon on the controller to let you know it's been modified. Um, and... I am so hyped that this is a thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. And yeah, all the buttons, you can just map to different things. All of the buttons. Uh, and if you do it with Joy-Cons, uh, it's a little bit different, but roughly the same. You've got the same set of buttons you can remap, and you can change them down here as well. Map them across to the other Joy-Con if you want. It's not limited to buttons on the same Joy-Con or anything, which, you know, might have made sense, but... It doesn't work that way, you're good, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and yeah, it's just, it's just really cool. And I'm so glad this is a thing, and it makes me happy. And yeah, you can swap the sticks over, you can rotate them. Oh wow. Anyway, um, that's all I really wanted to say. Basically we have this button mapping thing now built into the system, and that makes me really happy, and I'm super excited. Uh, can you delete a preset? Yeah you can, like this. Cool. Oh my goodness. So yeah, um, that is System Update 10. I was kind of expecting to maybe get, like, custom themes, like, more than the starting to, or possibly folders on the home screen, which are things people have been begging for a lot since the Switch firmware came out. It's still quite limited in that sense. But I think this is better for accessibility and just for working with every game on the system all the time. I think this is this is the better upgrade to have done. Hopefully we do see those other things soon, but I'm, I'm really glad that this is what happened at this point. Also, I mean, Flick is my icon, that's great too. But the, the really important thing is the button mapping. Uh, it is kind of strange that the presets are numbered, it's also kind of strange that there isn't an option to remap in this screen, the controller's screen, because that would make sense to me if you just scroll over to the controller and say, I would like this to have a different mapping, please. Uh, but no, you have to actually go into system settings and come down to here to get to that button mapping option. Um, controller grip order is actually the same option as 
that one, so it, it would make sense to add the mapping to the screen. I'm not sure why they didn't. But since it exists, it, it, it's, it's so good, and I'm so happy. And this feature is just wonderful, and I... Oh my gosh, hi Flick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's about all I had to say, really. I'm just really excited that the Switch does this now, because it, it's something I've been clamoring for pretty much the entire time I've been making videos, and... I mean, longer than that because I've wanted controller mapping forever, and consoles haven't really done that very much. Um, may maybe the Expo and PS4 do it, I don't know, I've never used either of those, but... The consoles I have experienced in my life have never included system-wide button mapping, and the Switch now does. And I think that's just a really, really good thing. Um, for, for just every purpose. Like, if the controls don't work the way you like, you can change them. If the controls work a way that doesn't work for your mobility, you can you can change that. And if you want things different, you can just... Uh, it's just wonderful. Anyway, uh, so that is the best system update that the Switch has ever had. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I, hope, I hope I didn't sound too... Weird. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a good sense of this cool new feature that's really hyping me hyped. And I am so excited to enjoy this some more. Uh, I am hoping to see some little tweaks, quality of life changes to it. Uh, in particular, the presets should be named rather than numbered. And you should be able to get to those settings by going to this screen rather than having to go all the way in. Uh, it would also maybe make sense if you could just go down from here to select the controller and look at what the mapping is that way, but eh, it's alright. That one's not so important. I think what's really important is that we already have this, and also it should probably have named presets. Um, if you look at the news post, I think there was some other stuff as well, but those are the important ones, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, the first thing they told us about was bookmarking in news, and it's like, well, what, who cares? <laughs> Uh, you can move software data between your system memory and inserted SD card. Yeah, you can move stuff around, which is good because you couldn't do that before. Uh, pretty minor though. Uh, characters from New Horizons, yep. Yeah. Uh, you can now change button mapping settings. That's the most important thing. I don't know why they buried the lead there. They put it at the end. Anyway, uh, it's, it's super great. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this has been me talking about a system update to my console. <laughs> That's pretty silly. Bye!